What is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are doing a little bit of something different now I don't think I've ever done this before but as you guys can see my room or office or the MDT room is an absolute mess so I'm just gonna have you join me here today man and I'm just gonna kind of time lapse me cleaning up the area and kind of you know putting the figures back you know where they go and all of those different things I don't really know how this is supposed to go but we will see how everything goes and everything like that man but this room is a total wreck I can't stand it anymore more. It's really interfering with my filming and me getting things done. So today, man, we're just going to dive into here and we're going to go ahead and clean this thing up. So I'm probably just going to do a voiceover while the time lapse goes and let's see how this thing goes. Alright guys, so basically what's going on here is you can see throughout the entire room there's like a ton of figures, just like a, a ridiculous amount of figures laying around. This is from reviews and, you know, uh, just the recent pay-per-views and stuff like that. So, you know, I'll get all the figures out and i got to set them up and, you know, we talk about them and things like that for the pay-per-view reviews and stuff like that. But uh, you guys can see me picking up the figures one by one. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking any, you know, if they're like misjointed or, you know, their like arms are up or, you know, anything like that. What I'm doing is basically kind of putting it in like a vanilla pose so it can fit on the shelf. So you guys can see all of the different figures just kind of laying around and stuff like that. I took some photos for the thumbnail. I don't even know how the thumbnail is going to come out at the time of recording, but basically I'll take a figure and you know you got to get it and every single figure in this room has a specific designated area most of the time unless I've run out of room, but this is the AEW figure shelf over here so you guys can see me getting the Kenny Omegas fixed up and stuff like that. There were a ton of Kennys. I'm trying to still find some more Kennys, but I don't even have room for them, you know, but uh, you guys can see the Orange Cassidy, Pac, John Moxley right here. So I'm basically just getting those figures, getting them in a vanilla pose, and then getting them up on the shelf so that they can fit because my shelves don't have a ton of room on them. So you guys know that I have to kind of put them in like a very vanilla-like pose, put them in the area, and uh, get them on there the best I can. So I got all the Dustins together, all the Moxleys together, the MJFs and stuff like that. We still have some more to add to the shelf over there, but... Um, basically, again, I'm just taking the figures that have been, you know, used for reviews, used for pay-per-views, used for comparisons and other videos. And it just, if I film, you know, a bunch of stuff back to back to back, and, you know, the, the things kind of accumulate, and then I did get sick, so there was a ton of stuff laying around and stuff like that. So, after COVID or getting sick with, with COVID and everything like that, uh, everything just kind of accumulated and it made it where the work area was super duper messy and it was very hard to you know uh, get work done and get videos done and stuff like that so had to get through here and had to you know clean things up and get everything squared away but uh, hopefully after the end of this thing the the room and everything like that will be looking a whole lot better but uh, right here I'm putting Drew McIntyre back on the Vindication shelf that's actually the new top talents figure I think or I, I think it was the top talents figure that that was with the purple the Royal Rumble gear with the darker skin tone still haven't been able to see that on vindication television but uh you know just all these figures right here man like it's kind of crazy because i kind of forgot all the different figures that were kind of laying around back here at this moment behind the ring back there i'm also getting accessories putting them in their baggies and stuff like that you guys know that i do have a ton of bags that have all of my accessories and it keeps it a little bit more organized and stuff but over here that is the vindication shelf getting alistair black back in his position getting Big E back on the mdt live uh shelf right there at that moment so uh, just a ton of a ton of figures, man. And another thing is that the vindication stage right there prevents me from putting any figures behind there, and that really annoys me as well. But you know, trying to get the figures back there and trying to get those in those positions, you'll also see at the end of the video I couldn't even get all those figures up there because that thing is in the way. So sometimes that does get on my nerves when I'm trying to put figures away and everything like that. I wish it was a lot more optimal to use the shelf space, but at the moment that is not a you know that is not something that we can do at the moment. So it is very annoying sometimes but you know you got to do what you got to do sometimes but yeah you know just continuing to put the figures in their respective places and everything like that I know in the room tours we've kind of detailed that and covered that the AEW figure shelves are actually the more recent shelves in the room those are the ones that are the most recent and we did put those up not too long ago the, the newest shelves here and at this moment I'm actually filling in the fodder boxes with the Seth Rollins parts from all those elite 86 Rollins putting the fodder boxes in their positions and then I'm actually gonna actually retrieve those back because I actually put them up too early so I'm actually gonna have to get that back out but 
anyways the uh, you know all the little hands and little accessories from figure reviews and stuff like that I also put those in fodder boxes put those in accessory bags and have to get all of that stuff squared away underneath there it's actually a little bit more organized than it looks but um, I did have to uh, get the fodder boxes out there organize those get all the little pieces in the hands and the you know the kick pads boots all those different things um, after reviews and stuff they do get strode out everywhere and then having to collect those and then put them in their respective zones keeps everything organized and everything like that but if you don't stay on top of things and keep everything organized then you run into this situation where your room is a total wreck and then you have to do it all in one day there but this was uh i don't know i don't know about you guys but cleaning up and getting you know things back in organization and everything like that is super fun for me or at least it's very it clears the mind out you know it makes you feel a lot of a little bit better and then when you sit down to do something you know if you're sitting around staring at a bunch of clutter and like oh my god it kind of weighs on you and it can have a effect on your mentality I think when you know you're trying to uh, work or do anything like that so if you don't keep your area clean I don't know if you guys are like that but if you don't keep the area clean man you will definitely you know it'll take a toll on you and I think it'll affect your work so you know, you just want to get everything like that. At this moment, sometimes I do have to climb up in the chair and get up there and actually fix those shelves that are above the closet there. And sometimes that can be annoying, especially when you have to get down figures for reviews and stuff. So you got to pull the chair over there, get up there, get the figures down. And then, again, if you do not put them back in the respective places, everything adds up. And then you're in a position where you got a lot of figures thrown out everywhere. So I would say once you get done using the figures, man, put them back in their places. And that way, you know, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that one. So at this moment, we're continuing to fill up the fodder boxes, as you guys can see. All If you look over there by the lamps, you guys will see all those little tiny accessories and hands and everything like I was talking about and they just add up and in my Seth Rollins bin I actually have all of my hands organized so I have you know spots for the Jeff Hardy hands all of the Seth Rollins hands the gloved hands all of the different things like that and again you get those reviews done and you know you review a whole entire wave and you got all the different interchangeable hands laying around and then it kind of adds up and then you got to go and put them in the fodder boxes so I'm going to try my best to stay on top of that but uh, putting a Jeff Hardy back up on the Jeff Hardy shelf tons of Jeff Hardy's up there that's actually the new top picks Jeff Hardy that we just added up there but just that area over there man it gets really really cluttered you got little not even just the hands and stuff like that but you have like the accessories that the figures come with you have chairs you have microphones and all of those things and I do have respective zones for those things but again once you uh, if you don't put it up in the area that it's supposed to go in initially then it adds up over time and you get behind then you get sick and then uh, your area is a complete and utter mess but uh, it's looking a whole lot better already. You guys can see that the arena doesn't have all those different figures in there. You will notice at the end, though, that we have more figures there because I could not put them in their respective zones at the moment because the vindication stage is in the way. But uh, there you guys can see the little, you know, pile of accessories on top of the box right there. There I am finally retrieving the baggies that I put all of my accessories in. So we got bags for hands, the uh, the most, uh, the, you know, the, the, the skin tone that is the most common with WWE figures is going to be the John Cena, the Finn Bag skin tone so I have a ton of those they have their own respective Ziploc bag because there's so many but we have a bag for ultimate edition parts we have a bag for hats and glasses and different weapons microphones all of those different things are in their bags I need to do a whole video honestly on just that in itself and showcasing you know all the different bags and how I have it organized man there's like a ton of stuff in there this is where I put you know extra like title belts cloth accessories that's what I was just putting in the closet over there uh, doing a little bit of cleaning underneath here I don't get all of it but you know, uh, some of those boxes are completely destroyed from my dog, but you guys can see the John Cena box there. There's also Jack's figures and stuff like that, but uh, I think that pretty much wraps up the entire room. All right, guys, what well, did clean a ton of the room, as you guys can see. Of course, we do have some of these figures. See, the problem is, is that the John Cena's, the Goldbergs, like the SDCC, all those Seth Rollins right there, the Rocks over there, the problem with these figures is that they are actually behind there. Or, just like the uh, Seth Rollins shelf over here, there's actually no room at all to put the Seth Rollins on there, so I'm going to have to figure something out for that. But, it feels a lot better in here, man, like the clutter that there was and all that stuff being absent now is so nice like it's it's so super refreshing see now like I have an actual good work area over here it's clean there's not a million figures sitting everywhere everything's where it should be not everywhere because obviously like 
I don't have enough room on these shelves to put any more figures. Everything's kind of filled up over there. So, and I would put it on this shelf back here or something like that, but this big thing is in the way and the arena's kind of in the way. So not much I can do there, but I am super thrilled that I got all that area cleaned up and I got all this area cleaned up, but I know it was sort of just like a hangout video or whatever where, you know, you just kind of hung out and I was kind of explaining the whole situation there, but hopefully everything turned all right and you guys enjoyed just sitting there watching that anyways and everything like that. But that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, man. I could not really, I don't know, it's really hard to film in an area when you have so much clutter and all this BS going on, but that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I don't know how long the time lapse was. I don't even know how it turned out, so I guess we'll have to see about that, but thank you guys so very much for watching. If you have any ideas about hanging up shelves or anywhere else I could put some figures, let me know down in the comment section below, guys, but thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like me for letting the room get that freaking messy.